there's a lot of stereotypes out there regarding med school and med students. Some are true, some are not true, and some are a little bit complicated. Pero what we doctors and med students get tired of is explaining it over and over again dun sa mga friends namin na hindi pumapasok sa med school. So let me explain it for you. Hi guys, Doc Junji here, Antropa Mang Residente, and in this video, I'm gonna debunk some of the most popular stereotypes or cliches or misconceptions about med school, being a med student, and being a doctor. So, stick around! <laughs> First stereotype is that med students don't have social lives. Nope, humans are social beings. We're humans too. Therefore, we have social lives. Pero, we kinda have it in a special, weird, and controlled way. We go out, we have fun, we party, we drink, we walwal, we travel, all that. Pero on a schedule. Spontaneous night outs or mga gala. Wag kayong umasang papayag kami sa ganyan most of the time. Like, madami kaming ganaps regarding school and nakaschedule yon. Our hell weeks, our shifting exams, our case reports, mga mortality and morbidity conferences namin, nakaschedule yan. And so is our review time. Like, if we know na may hell week or exam week kami at the end of the month, wag kayong umasang lalabas kami ng dorm or bahay namin a week before that. And if we do, then it's either super special mo sa amin, lalabas kaming may dalang reviewer, or alam na naming iaalay talaga namin yung exam na yon. Also, when we drink or walwal, nakaschedule yan na hindi kami duty the next morning. Unless sobrang in need na talaga naming mag-unload ng stress and we think na drinking the night before a duty is super worth it. And most of the time, it is worth it. Second misconception is that we have healthy lifestyles. Guys, if you knew what we stuff in our faces during our stress eating sessions, di kayo maniniwala sa mga health teachings namin. Like, like we drink coffee like crazy, we eat fast food kasi yun yung madali ipa-deliver and mabilis kainin. Kung magsangyup kami, parang wala nang bukas. Yung iba nagyoyosi as stress relief. Yung iba isang bote ng alak bago matulog kahit mag lang sila sa dorm. We know what's good and bad, what's healthy and what's not. We try to be healthy para maging example for our patients. Pero tao lang, mga boss. Me, I'm trying to be fit. Keyword here is trying. I do intermittent fasting pero minsan lang. So that makes it intermittently intermittent fasting. Pero ayun, hindi kami santo. We do crimes on our own bodies din. Pero we still try. Pag may time, ang hirap kasi mag-healthy lifestyle pag lagi kang stressed sa duty eh, or palaging may exam week around the corner. Pero yun. Ako personally, I promise myself to maintain a certain weight. And when I go above that, I try to buckle down and get serious with my self-control. Third stereotype is that lahat ng doctors mayayaman. Hindi lahat mayayaman, pero it is true na magastos mag-aral ng medisina. The tuition itself is heavy. Plus, you'll have to consider that parang second course mo na yun since kailangan mo muna mag-premed. That's on average, 4 years of college tuition plus another 4 years of med school tuition. Even mga middle class families na nagpapaaral ng mga doktor, minsan nahihirapan din sila magpa-tuition. And that results in a shortage of doctors dito sa country natin. Kaya madami ding med students na nag apply for scholarships of any kind para kahit pa paano makatulong sa families nila regarding the tuition. And even if doctor ka na, matagal pa din before you get to earn the big box. You'll have to go to residency pa, fellowship, and then yung mga board exams in between. That's almost another 10 years. Yes, kumikita ka na during this time, pero minsan your salary at this point is almost at a minimum, lalo na pag sa private institution ka nag-residency. Kaya nga, if ang reason mo to enter medicine is to get rich, mas maganda pang pumili ka na lang ng ibang career. There are other careers out there which would make you rich, easier, and faster. Fourth stereotype is that doctors only marry other doctors. Di naman only, pero most of the time this is true. And the reason for that is because if you watch my other videos, you'll realize that our lives are very different from those who have office jobs and work from 9 to 5 and all that. 
and minsan our schedules and our workflow is very hard to understand. Like ako, I've been going on duties na sa hospital for five years now and my mom still doesn't understand how my schedule flows. Like, minsan tinatanong na lang niya ako kung uuwi ba ako or hindi. Hindi pa din niya gets yung pre-duty at from. Speaking of that schedule, I have a video here explaining all of that para mas maintindihan niya yung schedules naming mga doctors. But, all that being said, I've seen couples who have made it work. Like, even if sabay silang graduate ng college and one of them has been earning na, and the other is still in school with a weird schedule, di makapag-date na maayos, minsan matagal na di nakakapagkita, they made it work. Good for them. Sana all. Fifth med school stereotype is that di ka natatapos mag-aral pag doktor ka. And this is so true. Like even if you graduate med, you pass your boards, you graduate residency, you pass that board exam again, you graduate your fellowship, you pass that board exam again, even after that, di ka pa din tapos talaga mag-aral. Why? Because medicine is always changing. There are new drugs discovered every day. There are new diseases every day. We're even discovering new body parts pa nga eh. The latest thing is that uh, there are 14 cranial nerves na daw. I really haven't read so much about it as of now. Pero just to give you an idea, back in nursing school, that was around 2008 or 2009, we were taught that we only had 12 cranial nerves. Now we have 14. Hindi naman yan biglang tumubo lang out of nowhere. Other examples of this is yung mga gamot. Some drugs that we used back then had very bad side effects and through research, uh, scientists discovered drugs with the same therapeutic effects but without the side effects. So as a doctor, you'll have to keep yourself informed about these drugs para you'll be able to provide better medical care to your patients. So even though graduate ka na, aral ka pa rin ng aral. Another misconception or stereotype that actually weirds me out is that people think that all doctors are old. Like, lagi ako nasasabihan ng mga pasyente ko na ang bata ko daw na doktor. Minsan sinasagot ko, meron pa pong mas bata sa akin. It's probably what they see in the media where doctors are portrayed as older men or women to try to convey power or knowledge or expertise. Pero like minsan kasi, OA yung pagka-shock ng mga tao na doktor na ako eh, sa age ko. Lalo na yung blonde pa yung buho ko, mas ayaw maniwala ng tao na doktor ako. Like, pwede din po kami magkulay ng buhok kahit doktor kami. Hindi po yun bawal. Yung iba nga po may tattoo pa eh. And that doesn't diminish our knowledge as doctors. The older doctors, naging mas batang doktor din sila. Naging residents din yung mga yan. Bata din po sila na nagsimula sila. I'm sure iba sa kanila nagpakulay din yan ng buhok. Yung iba dyan, for sure may mga tattoo din yung mga yan. Di nyo lang alam. So ayun, di porkit bata pa kaming tingnan, eh di pa po kami doktor. Doktor na din po. MD na din, lisensyado na din, still in training to be as good as those who came before us. Pero we have the basic skills and knowledge to treat you guys. Number 7 misconception about doctors is that we're nerds. Whatever nerd means. I'm not saying that being a nerd is anything bad or whatever. Pero people have this idea na kapag doctor ka, wala kang ibang alam kundi mag-aral. Basa ka na lang ng basa ng books buong araw. Sobrang talino mo, tapos nakasalamin ka and all that. That's the usual image of a doctor na nai-imagine ng mga tao. Pero hindi siya totoo eh. Siyempre, di naman sa nilalahat ko. Pero meron din namang mga talagang ganun. Pero madaming mga doctors sa madaming ibang talent. Madami dyan, rakista, musician, madaming magaling mag-drawing, sumayaw, kumanta. Meron pa mga artista eh. When you think about cool kids, you don't really think about doctors, di ba? Mukha kami mga prim and proper na mga tao. Pero kung makita mo mag-basketball, mag-surfing, mag-boxing, mag-MMA yung ibang doctors, mapapatanong ka talaga eh, doktor ba talaga yan? Tingnan mo ako. Ako nga nasa YouTube eh. Ano bang ginagawa ko dito sa YouTube? Ba't ako nandito? Click on this video para malaman mo kung bakit ako nandito sa YouTube. Kita tayo doon. <laughs>